Pain and grief engulfed the family of Galano Hassan Yusuf as they bid farewell to their loved one at the city mortuary in Nairobi. The family is now calling for justice, saying Galano died in the hands of a police officer at Kiamaiko yesterday owing to a bullet that hit him through his back, fracturing his skull. Police say they had gone to the area to recover a stolen motorcycle when the mission turned tragic after encountering resistance from residents. They claimed this prompted the officers to open fire in alleged defense. <laughs> However, the family has refuted those claims, saying the father of two was not a thief, but a businessman whose car wash provided jobs for youth in the area. Na huyu haikuwa bikibiki ya juani na wala juani na hiyo mambo yeye ni mwenye kaosh. Community based organization Madari Community Social Justice has laid blame on Huruma Police Station OCS who they say has failed to put an end to the impunity he vowed to address. Mr. Mogo OCS wakati alikuja pale mara kwanza alikuja kwa ofisi yetu kama iko Community Social Justice Center na akasema hakuna siku kijana wa kama iko atakuja kuuliwa. Condemning acts of police brutality in the area, the organization has further informed us of two individuals who were shot while at their house balcony during demonstrations. Nili rescue vijana wawili. One was shot while kwa kwa balcony, so the police were using life bullets. One was shot hapa kwa throat ilipita. Alafo mwingine brother yake tu, alishutiwa hapa kwa thighs, akiwa kwa balcony. So wako mama Lucy, huyo mwingine amefanyia operation, so wako sawa. Na kuna wengine vijana, wengine waliumia mguu. Kwa hiyo harakati ya ya hiyo protest walikuwa wanasema si haki kufanyia galano hivi. Meanwhile, Haki Africa has called on the Independent Policing Oversight Authority IPOA to hasten investigations into Galano's death and bring to book the officer in question. Polisi mwenye ameua Galano anajulikana. Is very well known. IPOA wamekuja we want to see that person arrested and arraigned in court as soon as possible. As investigations commence, 33-year-old Galano has been laid to rest this afternoon at the Kariako Cemetery. His burial further compounded the situation as residents took to the streets protesting over extrajudicial killings. Harriet Chimea, K24.